In my perpetual quest to become a better gardener today than I was yesterday, I stumbled on this claim that rainwater is actually better for your garden than water from the hose. And I know I'd probably heard this years ago and it sounded like an old myth, so I just dismissed it. But apparently there is actually some science behind it. Now, I can only go off of my research for this video, but in a future video I'd like to set up a controlled experiment to test this claim for myself. And I'll most likely have to wait until next spring to do that, but I'm really curious to see the results. Let's talk about tap water first. Typically a variety of chemicals are added to your municipal water supply to kill bacteria and make it safer for you to drink. You can usually taste and smell these chemicals in the water. And as you would expect, since these substances can kill bacteria, some of them can lead to health problems in humans too. This is why it's highly recommended to use some form of water filtration in your home, which can significantly reduce many of these harmful substances. Not only that, it makes the water taste a lot better. We could do a whole other video about the side effects of chemicals in your tap water, but since we're talking about gardening, we'll focus on chlorine, the main source of the bad taste and smell. Chlorine is added as a disinfectant to kill off any disease-causing bacteria that may be present in the water. This means if you're watering your garden with it, it can harm beneficial microbe populations in the soil. And that doesn't mean that you should stop using it altogether, as long as you are employing healthy soil practices like using compost and mulch. You won't have to water as often, you'll keep the soil pH in balance, and you'll feed those beneficial microbes and help their populations come back very quickly. If you have a choice, however, rainwater is definitely the much better option. This is because rainwater not only doesn't contain chlorine, it does have several benefits that are perfect for the garden. For one thing, it has nitrates, a form of nitrogen that most vegetables and annuals use for food. And for most trees and perennials, it has nitrogen in the form of ammonium. A good summer rain can make your garden and everything else look as green as green can be. Another benefit of rainwater is that it's slightly acidic, with a pH below 7, which helps to keep the soil's pH at a range where most plants are happiest. A pH of 6.5 to 7 means that most vegetables are able to take up the available nutrients from the soil. Tap water, on the other hand, is slightly alkaline, with a pH above 7, and extensive use of it can actually raise the pH to where plants become unable to take up the nutrients that they need. I would guess that this is probably the leading cause of the nutrient deficiencies that I observed this summer when I had to use tap water for over a month straight. Thankfully, since we've had more rain recently, I've seen a noticeable difference in the health of our plants. The best examples I can show you are cucumbers, which are trying really hard to produce again, and mostly failing, but at least we've gotten a few more that are actually edible pole beans, producing a lot, showing some new growth with leaves that look normal, not curled, and making their way up the trellis again. And lastly, the tomatoes, bearing new fruit but showing signs of blossom end rot. The brandy wine is reaching almost to the top of the trellis. I think it's just trying to make friends with the garden spider that lives up there. Even the Cherokee purple is starting to grow and flower again. With any luck, we may get more large tomatoes before the first frost. All of this has made me more determined than ever to set up a rain collection system for our garden. I've been meaning to do it for a really long time, but haven't had the time or resources to design and build something yet. But come on over here and let me show you what I'm thinking. So our house has two sump pumps in the basement. There's one over there, empties past the deck, and then there's this one here. I'd like to divert this into a rain barrel or a series of rain barrels would be even better. So then we would have that running into there. We could have a screen on the top of the main one to let water in when it's raining. And then we can even run a downspout coming from the gutter, although right now it's emptying off the far corner of the house, so that might take a little work to do that. But that would be awesome. And then we could get rid of this whole pipe because right now, all that's doing is looking ugly, giving us something to trip over, and basically turning this whole area into Woodstock 94, which I guess isn't that bad. I mean, maybe we can get Nine Snails to come play a show here. I certainly wouldn't complain about that, but 
doesn't really do anything for the garden. So I'm currently looking at some different design ideas and trying to estimate how much a setup like that would cost. Uh, we can't afford much right now, but sometime in the future I will definitely make a detailed video with whatever we decide to build. Uh, if you already have a rainwater collection set up at home, please leave a comment below and let me know how that's working for you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.